Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's lesson on hand washing, part of our, of our Nutrition Nugget series. My name is Sonia Colchado, and I am a nutrition educator with the San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools. Today's objectives are to be able to identify two reasons why it's important to wash our hands. We will also be able to list the six steps of proper hand washing. We will also be able to identify five situations that require hand washing. By the end of today's lesson, we hope you will be able to create a fun poster that includes the six steps of hand washing. Some of the materials that you might need for today include paper, pen or pencil, markers, and tape. Let's get started. Food safety is very important for keeping us healthy when we work with food, prepare food, and eat food. Today, we're going to talk about how washing our hands is an important part of food safety. I bet lots of you already know about food safety. Let's start with a little quiz. It might help to have a blank piece of paper and a pen or pencil in front of you to write down your answers. Or you can just answer out loud. For each question that I read out, please tell me if you think that is a true statement or a false one. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. If your hands look clean, then there are no germs on them and you do not need to wash them. Do you think that is a true statement or a false one? Okay, let's see if you were right. If you answered false, you are correct. You cannot see the germs and you should wash your hands even if they don't look dirty. Are you ready for the second question? All right. Question number two says, you should always use so soap when you wash your hands. Do you think that question is true or false? Okay, let's see that answer. If you answer true, you are correct. Soap helps remove germs. All right, let's see question three. Question three asks us, you should wash your hands before you touch food. Do you think that question is true or false? Okay, let's see those answers. If you answer true, you are correct. You should always wash your hands before and after preparing or eating food. Okay, who's ready for question number four? Let's see it. Number four says you should wash your hands for five seconds. Do you think that, that question is true or false? All right, let's see. If you answered false, you are right. You should wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Okay, who's ready for question number five? Here it is. Washing your hands with soap, warm water and soap helps to wash the bacteria down the drain. Do you think that question is true or false? The answer is true. Washing your hands with warm water and soap helps to wash all that bacteria down the drain. Good job, everyone. Hand washing is the single best way to prevent bacteria 
from causing infections or foodborne illnesses, like getting sick by eating unsafe food. What do you think germs are? Hmm. Is that something you ever think about? Well, some germs are bacteria or viruses that can make us sick. This might happen if we don't wash our hands or wash some of the foods that we eat. Germs are found on people, in our surroundings, and on food. Germs can get on your hands when you use the bathroom, cough or sneeze, touch your mouth, nose, or hair. Germs are also on raw food, pets, dirty dishes, clothes, and garbage. You can also get germs on your hands from a cut or a sore. So where are germs? Give me a thumbs up every time I say a place where germs might be hiding. We're gonna go through the list and every time I name one of these off, you tell me if that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thumbs up means that you think, yes, there, should, there might be germs there and thumbs down means probably not. Okay, are you ready for the first one? On your desk, do you think that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down? If you said thumbs up, you are right. There are definitely some germs on our desk. Okay, what about on your keyboard? Would that be a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Yes, thumbs up again. There are germs on our keyboards. What about on or in the trash can? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, that's a thumbs up also. Germs are in our trash cans. Well, how about on a sponge? Do you think that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up again. How about on your pencil? Yes, you guessed it, that th that's a thumbs up. What about on a toilet? Yes, that's a thumbs up too. Here's the last one, on a telephone. Yes, you guessed it, thumbs up one last time. You should have given me thumbs up every time. Germs are everywhere, but don't worry, not all germs make you sick. Some germs are good for you. To help us stay healthy, we want to make sure we don't spread germs. Germs are spread by our hands, so that's why we need to wash them. We also want to keep germs out of our bodies. Germs get into your body when you don't wash your hands, and then you eat, rub your eyes, or put your hands in your mouth. Wash your hands before eating, touching foods, touching cuts and sores, serving food, or cooking food. Wash your hands after eating, touching cuts, and sores, touching foods, especially raw meats, playing outside, using the bathroom, coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, touching, feeding, or picking up after pets, taking out the trash, or changing diapers. Now we're going to talk about the right way to wash our hands. This picture shows our hands that have germs on them. What is the best way to wash your hands so that the germs are washed away? I'm going to give you three answers and you tell me which one you think is best. Is it best to wash our hands for 20 seconds with cold water and no soap? Do you think it is best to wash our hands for 20 seconds with warm water and no soap? Or is it best to wash our hands for 20 seconds with warm water and soap? Think about it for a minute. Which way will we have the least germs on our hands? The answer is the third way, washing our hands correctly for 20 seconds. Using warm water and soap will wash away germs. There are six steps to hand washing. They are, step number one, wet your hands with warm water. Step number two, apply soap. 
Step number three, rub your hands together and get between your fingers for 20 seconds. Step number four, don't forget your fingernails. Step number five, rinse the germs away. Step number six, dry your hands using a paper towel. Don't forget to wash your wrist area. It is also important to turn off the sink using the paper towel and use the paper towel to open public doors. That way you don't get germs on your clean hands. Sometimes when you use a public bathroom, it doesn't have soap or the water doesn't get warm. You still want to wash your hands if this is the case. The scrubbing action will help remove a lot of the germs. Remember, some hand washing is better than none. Now we're going to practice washing our hands correctly, but you don't need to run off to the bathroom or the kitchen sink. We're going to pretend hand wash right here in front of our screen. Hold up your hands and get your air sink ready to go. Turn the faucet on, wet your hands with warm water, apply soap rub together for 20 seconds and get in between your fingers. Don't forget your fingernails. Rinse the germs away and dry your hands using a paper towel. Turn off the sink using a paper towel and use the paper towel to open the door in a public restroom. Okay, let's see an example. As you saw in the video, they were playing the happy birthday song. That's a good habit lots of people like to do to make sure that they wash their hands for long enough time. It's very important to wash our hands. Let's make sure that other people know just how important it is to wash their hands. If you have art supplies with you, try creating a poster that you can hang at home or take a picture of it and share it with your friends. Your hand washing poster can include one of the following, the six steps of washing our hands, or maybe your poster can be about where germs are found. Germs are everywhere. So you can list different places or when we need to wash our hands. Wash our hands before eating, touching food, touching cuts and sores, serving food, or cooking food. These are all great ideas. I'm sure everybody will come up with wonderful posters to share. Now we're going to learn how quickly germs can multiply in our food if we aren't careful. I want everyone to put their imagination caps on and pretend there are germs or bacteria in the food shown. Are those imagination caps on good and tight? Okay. Well, bacteria will divide every 20 minutes under the right conditions. So if you start with only 10 bacteria, then 20 minutes later, you will have 20 bacteria in your food. And an hour later, you would have 80 bacteria in your food. Can you imagine having 80 bacteria in your food? What about 640 bacteria in your food, which would happen after two hours? Now, of course, there are real germs in our food that we can't see, and they multiply very quickly as I described. Like we discussed in the lesson today, not all germs make you sick, but if you leave food out for a long time, then the germs will multiply and give us higher chance of getting sick. That's why we don't eat foods that have been sitting out at a room temperature for more than two hours. Here's a fun recipe you can try at home with an adult. We like to call it apple jack-o'-lanterns. The ingredients for this recipe include apples, peanut butter, you could also use soy butter, or cream cheese, two teaspoons of raisins, one fourth cup of shredded carrot, one fourth cup of cereal. If you're allergic to any of these ingredients, please leave them out or feel free to replace them with something else. 
The directions have us use the peanut butter as glue and the raisins, carrots, and cereal as decorations to create fun faces for our apples. Have fun and enjoy. What food groups do you think are included in the apple jack-o'-lanterns? Hmm. I see fruit. This would be the apples and the raisins. I also see protein, peanut butter. That would be the peanut butter. I also see vegetables. That would be the shredded carrots. And grains. That would be the cereal. Which of the ingredients do you think need to be washed? Hmm. Definitely the apples and the carrots. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for participating. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.